Hello everybody, this is Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play Maniac Mansion. Now, you probably just heard that little doorbell noise, which means we have to move quick because, oh, the doorbell! I wonder if that's my package! Yeah, this is what I was hoping to avoid, and I hope to have Burner in a better position for this, because if Ed catches us in the hallway, he's going to haul us to the dungeon, but thankfully... We can wait this out, but we need to switch to Razor real quick and pick up Ed's package. And he won't notice us here, but we'll go ahead and have her move in here just to be safe. Switch to Bernard and hope that we don't run into Ed in the hallway that he's past us now. Oh, he is. Somebody playing tricks on me, eh? I'll get him next time. Because we do have a few things we need to get out of, out of uh, Ed's room, and we also need his package. But we might not have enough time to pull that off, so we'll go ahead and switch back to Razor. Because there is a doorbell here, and we can go ahead and push the doorbell. Of course, I think we have to wait for Ed to be back in his room, but while we're waiting on that, as uh, long as we're here, we can actually, since we are Bernard and since we are the electronics expert, we can go ahead and take that vacuum tube that we found earlier. There we go, radio tube, and fix radio tube with the radio, or actually fix, yeah, tube socket with radio tube. That doesn't seem to work. Okay, we don't need to fix it, we just need to use radio tube and tube socket. So we now have a working radio. I'll turn on radio. So we can now use this radio to call people, like for instance, the technical police, which I believe it was 1979. Uh, of course, that does nothing because Bernard did not actually read the poster. Oh, 1977, not 1979. I was thinking of that uh, Smashing Pumpkins song. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and switch to Razor. Try this again. Again? Okay, so move to Bernard. Hope that he isn't immediately on the hallway when we get out there. And okay, he is not. So. Okay, so we will pick up the hamster. And behind the hamster is a card key. And we will also need to open the piggy bank. Damn, I broke it! Such language, Bernard. And whoops. Somebody playing tricks on me, eh? Okay, we better hurry this. Because we do need to get the dimes out of the piggy bank. And we'll go into this room because, just for the heck of it, let's buff Bernard up. I feel much stronger now. And he has the strength of ten nerds plus two. And just to be polite, we'll go ahead and close the sarcophagus. And I wonder, does Bernard have any reaction right apart from reading the uh, Playboy calendar? Not really. Poster. Miss Mummy of 982 BC. Okay, that's probably long enough to avoid Ed in the hallway. So let's see, what are we going to be able to do with that tiny little manning plant? Well, you'll note that we have 
yeah, a uh, ladder up there that we can't reach. And we do have paint remover. We use the paint remover on the paint blotch. We can. And there is a door hidden here, which leads us into, well, a dark room that has no light switch that we can't work. We're going to need the flashlight to be able to get out of here. But what are we going to do with the man-eating plant? Well, obviously, uh, we're going to feed it, but we don't really have any food, but we do have a can of Pepsi. So now we have a belching man-eating plant, but at least it can't bite us. So with that, then we're going to head back downstairs a trick. But uh, before we do anything else, we do need to open the door so Razor can get back in. Eventually. Because I think that that yellow key that we got earlier will be useful here. I can't unlock the door with this. Well, I thought that was the one to unlock that. Or... Okay, unlock door with yellow key. Okay, well, I thought that was the key for that one. So, clearly we need to go find another key somewhere. Because I could have sworn we got and everything. At least as far as the keys go. back to me. We'll need Razor because we had not actually gone into the basement yet. But before we head into the basement, one thing we'll do that will make uh, our lives a little bit easier that we can do now because the uh, record that Razor picked up earlier was for tentacle mating calls. So let's go ahead and play that record. And we can use the cassette tape and the recorder. So go ahead and turn on the recorder. And turn on this. Okay, stop recording. So we will go ahead and pick up the cassette tape. Leave that record where it is for the moment. Because you'll note that that vase, uh, it broke. And as long as we're here, Let's let Razor tickle the ivories a bit. I have to turn off the Victrola first. that the uh, 80s Joan Jettish punk girl would be playing, you know, Boogie Woogie, but not going to knock it. Okay, so now we have a tape that breaks, you know, glass objects. How is that going to be useful to us? Well, remember that key that we couldn't reach earlier? Okay, we'll go ahead and give the key to Bernard, because he'll need it where he's going. Okay, so switch to Bernard. And I 
found the light switch on the first try. Turn on the light switch. And yeah, there's a nuclear reactor down here in the basement because of course there is. And there's another silver key here, which was the one that I was looking for or thinking of. But we now have all the keys. I said we have all the keys. I'm the key master. And we have a fuse box here. And that old rusty key that we got a moment ago. Well, that will open up this door, which leads to the dungeon. And now we can have Dave get out of here. And there is a way out of the dungeon if you do not have, you know, the key. And this, of course, is where we're going to be heading eventually. Uh, the secret lab and the poor unfortunate chain here. But, of course, we do need to get through those doors first. But there is a hidden brick, which if you push it, it does open up the door, but you don't have enough time to get there. Unless you have a friend hole push it, and then you switch kids and have uh, them go it. But thankfully, since we have the key, we can just go in here. And we'll leave Dave here at the moment, looking at her, you know, glancing stupidly off into space. Because now that we have the silver key, we can go and explore the other uh, little room over here that we have not gotten to yet. Okay, so let's see. Silver key. Silver key. Silver key. Hey, it worked. So, we have the swimming pool here. But we do not want to go into the water because, well, I don't want to get wet. There's a much better reason. It turns out that the swimming pool is also the cooling pond for the nuclear reactor. So all of that water is quite radioactive and very dangerous. So we do not want to go swimming in there. We do, however, want to get a jar full of it. Why? Well, you'll see. So now we have a jar full of water. And back here, we also have a garage door. Now, what are we going to do with the garage door? Well, now that we are so manly from lifting weights, we can actually lift that up. And we can pick up the faucet handle, even though we don't need it. And, oh yes, here's a uh, the car trunk. Which, of course, the car trunk is locked. But we can open it with the yellow key. And find what every good person keeps in their trunk a set of tools, just in case. And of course, you know, what would the Edison family have? An Ed Cell. What's the bumpers agreed? I heart weird Ed. Well, isn't that nice of them? And the personalized license place is Ed Cell, and Yeah, the weird Ed Cell. This does not exactly look like a street legal car now, does it? But that has accomplished everything we need to do here, except for one little thing. And we'll go ahead and switch to Razor for this next bit. Leave Dave stuck in the basement, because honestly, Dave is terrible. Just... So we're underneath the workings of the house. I'm install the pipes, and yeah, here's where the uh, pantry great is, and even though we don't need it, uh, we will need this eventually if we were going, uh, if we were playing with Michael, but we can use the puzzle developer with the sponge, and we now have a sponge full of developer, which does not help us because we don't have a photographer, but we do have a water valve that needs turning, so we will turn the valve, and switch to Bernard, and the pool is now drained. Go ahead and pick up the radio and... Oh no! The pool is empty again! We're going to have another meltdown! 
how can I take over the world when I'm on a budget? I ask myself that question every day, Fred. I always get stuck with cheap equipment. Boy, is the media going to be pissed. Tentacle front and center. Yes, sir, Dr. Fred, sir. Perpetelical at your disposal, sir. Quick, go check out the reactor. Yes, sir. Hey, wait. Dave's next to the reactor. Oh, well. I'll go ahead and pick up the radio and pick up this glowing key and get the heck out of here because we don't want to be down here when this next part goes down. So, Bernard is now safely out of the pool. We'll take him one screen away for good measure. Switch to new kid. Actually, just to be safe, you can have... I'll get you! Can we actually outrun the tentacle? No, we cannot. I caught you sneaking around our house. Dr. Fred isn't paying me for nothing. And he's not paying you anything either. To the dungeon, intruder. I hope you rot. And it goes skipping past that way to the secret lab. Suggesting that the purple tentacle has a way to the secret lab, but that's never here nor there. Anyway, we will have Razor turn the water valve on. Switch back to Bernard. Okay, actually, new kid, Razor, turn off the water valve. Okay, now we don't have to worry about the house blowing up. So now we have some new batteries, or we will, once we open the radio. So now we have fresh batteries, or fresher than the old batteries, which will die almost instantly. Because, of course, we do need fresh batteries. And why do we need fresh batteries, you might ask a rhetorical viewer of this video? You shall see. But, first things first, we need to go ahead and coordinate, bring Razor back. <laughs> Razor back. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah. Actually, we'll just bring her up because we don't really need anything from her yet. But we do need to get to Dave, which means that we do need Razor to come get the door for us. We have the old rusty key, so we can use that here. And Dave can give us the flashlight. Actually, we'll have Dave give us the other key. No. Okay, and give the flashlight to Bernard. And that is everything useful, so bye, Dave. Yeah, this part's always been a pain in the neck. You always want to trying to go behind the reactor, which there's really no point to. I mean, you can't hide from the tentacle back there. So, yes, I've got the keys. I've now got a radioactive jar full of water. And why on earth do I want that? Well, what does radiation do in all good, classic, cheesy B-movies and cartoons? It makes things bigger. So we use our jar full of water on the manning plant, and we now have a big plant that will no longer try and bite us because it is too busy burping. So where does this take us? Why into an observatory? And let's go and read this astronomy chart. 
It shows the trajectory of a meteorite impacting the Earth. In case you couldn't make an educated guess at this by now, this is trying to tell us something. So we have a really powerful telescope. Yeah, let's go ahead and use the powerful telescope. And we see that tree off in the distance from the opening of the game. Of course, because Dr. Fred is apparently very cheap, we need dimes in order to use this. And so let's go ahead and push the button to the right. It's rotating. So now we can use the really powerful telescope to see a uh, side of the building. And then we can use the dime once more. And push the button again. It's rotating. And we can use this to see a spider in front of a picture. Not as useful as one might have hoped for. But, we do have some hope in this. And you'll note, we have this dark room with no obvious, you know, light switch. But we do now have a flashlight with good batteries in it. So we can use the flashlight, or actually turn on the flashlight. And bingo, we can now see that there are broken wires here that are in need of repair. Of course, it would be very stupid to do this with the power on. So, what we are going to do is go back downstairs because we need to get Razor back into the basement. And actually, I got a much faster way to accomplish that. More fun, anyway. So, actually, have Burner go back to the observatory. And we will have Razor. Come upstairs for a moment. And yeah, I could have let Dave out of the dungeon earlier and save myself a trip, but this will be rather amusing and fun as well, I think. Because there is one room we have avoided so far in our quest. And that would be Edna's room. Thankfully, you can dodge Edna pretty quickly, although in this case I completely failed to do that. You're lucky you're not a boy or you'd be in big trouble now! But... Okay, so we'll go with plan B, which was... We now have Dave in position to mess with the circuit breakers for the house. And why is that important? Well, we need somebody to turn off the power, so let me switch back to Bernard. Still got the flashlight on. New kid, switch to Dave. Turn... Turn off the breakers. Switch to Bernard, and now use the tools on the wires. Oh, great! Somebody shut the power off! We're going to have another meltdown! How will I ever take over the world when things like this keep happening? And you can guess where this is going again. Purple tentacle, front and center. Tentacle, front and center. Here I am. We've got problems again. Yes, sir. And speaking of problems, uh, the battery on my recorder is about to die, so we'll go ahead and fix the wires, and we will continue from here next time.